Well, chocolate fondue messed us up. Woo! Maybe I should be a Chris Hunter. Oh, Ooh. do you want to tell everybody why you want $10? Yeah, I think potentially if I practice a little bit, I could have the longest spit of a loogie <laughs> in the world. I say go for white. Well, hi, hi. handsome. My goal today, and I know this is gonna sound so superficial, but really, I'm on vacation. My goal. My goal today is I'd like to have a. Yes, a Thank you. Okay, do you mind being on film? He's giving me my decaf latte. Hello. Hello, family. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. You guys look how pretty. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yum yum. That was not on my goal list, but it's definitely something I want to do. So my other goal is that I want to go to the shop and get a Why are you talking about that? Oh my gosh. Ew. Because it's so funny. It so, I like my yeah. goals for today. Like my goals for today. Okay, so I'd like to have a pina colada this morning. at the pool, Wait. and then I'd like to have an espresso martini at dinner or at night. Ever my okay. turn. Okay, this morning they do the little you know recording thing on the TV where they like the cruise director talks and whatever. Maybe I should be a cruise director. Actually, we think Ryan should be a cruise director. I mean, you could too, Katie Elizabeth. But Ryan, no. would you love that? Can you be so good? You know what? You know. No, because no, you, you you like my brother more than you like me. Well, so Ryan's been talking about it for a long time. Katie just brought up the and idea. And your favorite. Well, yes. But I like that idea of you becoming a cruise doctor. I don't want to do that. Oh. But maybe I'll, like, okay, so here's my plan. Maybe I'll be, like, a cruise performer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, that's, that. I mean, like, not that dramatic, but, like, they have circus on cruises. They do. Like... That'd be a super fun thing to do for a couple of years. Yeah, I was just saying you did it. Like yeah, that's why like, I went to Disney. I'm like, I want to do this just to be able to say I did it. Yeah, and also like just build up some like some money, you know, like yeah, and, and, and travel and travel and, travel and meet some cool people. You and Ryan could be on the same cruise ship, and you get your mama free cruises. That would be lit. That's what I'm talking about. All right, you guys, Brendan and there goes Brendan right there, and Ryan, and we, they just ate a little bit. But okay, this for some reason they like went hams on the dessert today look at the Brilliant. dessert it's stupid oh my gosh watch look at this look at 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 they've got kebabs you can eat marshmallows like what the heck oh my gosh it's fondue that's what it is look at donuts it's fondue that's the best thing ever and donuts. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is that? Oh no, I'm gonna figure Some it out. Some kind of parfait <clears throat> in a beautiful glass. Looks beautiful. <laughs> I can't eat. Oh, uh, whoops. May I please have um, a marshmallow? Maybe this guy. Can I have one of those guys? And then maybe a strawberry. And a donut. Is that a donut? Yes, please. <laughs> Holy cow. I want chocolate Yes, please. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Stop. Thank you. And Ryan, what are you right. going to get? Can I do a marshmallow, the white cake, um, the strawberry, and a donut? That's exactly what I just got. You got it? You got the same exact oh, one shit. I just got. Yes, please. I'm not right. <laughs> you got a big spoon, though. Maybe the little spoon. There's a regular little spoon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. A chocolate fondue messed us up. I didn't realize the fondue was falling down my face. So I think everybody in the in the dining room is probably looking Actually, at me like, I'm weird. Elevator, off the elevator. And... <laughs> we decided we need to come in here and regroup. Like I thought, I'm my hands are full. <laughs> this is still a mystery. <laughs> my hands are full and I can't get a napkin. So I'm literally walking through yeah, here with this stuff all over. We're a mess right now. We're a mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do next. Where should we put this? Let's get a napkin. Oh, over here. Okay, yeah. You get napkins. I'll put the plate over here. All right, the D5 are all here lined up. Look, oh, there's Brennan being up. There's Dad over there and Ryan. Brennan? What up? What up? My handsome husband just tapped me on the phone and said it's time to go get a pink 
Oh yeah. Mission accomplished. Right? Woo! And I like pina colada. <laughs> getting caught. Oh, we're not getting caught. Oh, getting caught in the rain is something else. They don't like pina coladas in. Right. That would, that would water down your pina. That would water down the pina colada. All right, you guys. We're at the pool right now. Last day. Mike, I just met a couple of the bar. You know what they're doing? What? They're doing a ship bar crawl. That's cool. Cool. We're trying a different thing at each of the each yeah. of the venues. I think we might do that. Not today. It's a little too late to start. She said it's gonna take her all day. And then they take a picture of each one of them. So stay tuned for our next cruise. I think we might do that. I think I'm in seventh heaven right now. On a cruise ship with my family playing euchre next to the pool. We got music, we got sunshine. Brennan's sleeping. He's upstairs sleeping. If you were down here, it'd be even better, but this is, um, these are the moments I live for, guys. Just sit right here. Well, here comes Brennan. <laughs> Stop communicating. Stop. Stop talking. We are the champions, my friends. Da -na -na -na. And we'll keep on fighting. Yeah. Na -na -na. We went down. We, we went down. We went down a game. It was the best of three. We won the last two and just absolutely. We crazy. fought so, back like there was no tomorrow. Was awesome. Now we're gonna go get some grub. One of the most awesome things about a cruise is they constantly come in and make up your room, which is really nice. We are also packing because it's the last day of our cruise, which is very sad. But um, we know that we're coming back, so that's good news. They have left our celebrity today here. This is day five, Tuesday, January 2nd at sea. The dress code is smart casual. This is, if you guys haven't been on a cruise before, this is like um, a newsletter that they drop in your room the night before the next day. So there's all, I mean, look at all these activities. These are all the activities that are going on in the cruise. There's way, way, way too much to do. Book now or book later. They always want you to come back. So there's a little offer for that. Oh, you can do a book later form. Destination experiences. What's this? Well, these are all the things. Oh, this is when you leave tomorrow where you're supposed to go. We are number three, I think, which is deck 4-4 four, four to 8-10. I think that's us. I've got to look in just to make sure. Until we meet again, these are all of the instructions that we have before we depart tomorrow. I think we're going to go enjoy some entertainment and a cocktail before dinner starts. I had some beautiful views out here that I filmed. The kids are in there. I'm going to take a look. Okay, I think they're in there packing as well. It's almost time to say goodbye. This is only a five-day cruise, which five days is nice. I prefer seven, but... Um, Five days sort of gets you, it gets you a taste and gets you into the groove and then you have to leave. So it's better than a four day, but not as great as a seven day. Because a seven day by now, we would still have three more nights. It would be amazing. So anyway, we're going to go up. We'll take you with us and um, spend the last night of fun together. Hello. There we go. Well, hi, hi handsome. Hi. Don't you look beautiful? You ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Should I tuck it or no? Let's take a look talk and see. Oh boy. I don't know you guys. What do you think? The, the belt matches the shoes. Give her a tuck. Give her a tuck. Where else do you tuck? You know what I mean? Right. You very rarely have the opportunity to tuck. <laughs> are your brother and sister ready? Brennan's already at the casino. Oh, okay. Great. We'll go and, and meet him there. He's getting ready right now. Fantastic. Come on, look at the two of you. Right. Love Good. it. <laughs> So handsome. All right, let's yeah. go to the casino. Tell Kate to meet us there. Is that good? All right. Mike, you have your tippies? <laughs> Mike likes to play hey, craps. Brennan uh, likes to play 21. Can I have my 10 bucks then? <gasps> yes, you can. Oh, Ooh. do you want to tell everybody why you won $10? You yesterday's vlog. Right, you should go watch it. It's a good one. Uh, I beat Dad in the race on the inflatable uh, obstacle course. In Cozumel? We bet 10 bucks. Good run. So... Nice work. I want to learn up in next year. <laughs> These are the glass elevators. That's the main lobby. We just went from deck four to deck five, which normally we would have walked up the stairs, but as we were walking by, the elevator opened. Heading on to a place called the Ensemble Bar. This is a really cool place called Cafe Albaccio. 
if there's if you're going three floors or less, you can't elevate her. Right. Unless there's one open right there to walk into. Yes. But, How about down? No, down too. Down, same deal? Down, same Gotta deal. walk downstairs? Yeah. Yeah, we do that a lot. Okay, good. This is the Ensemble Lounge. Dad and I like it here. We're, I've only been here one time during this cruise. Dad hasn't been here. Brennan, or Ryan, have you ever been here? The Ensemble no, Lounge? The ownership, never, this one. never this one. Okay, they have live music here normally. It's sort of loungy. Very, very loungy in here. It's dark. Holy cow. Yeah. All right, now it's on to shopping. Katie just found the cutest little handbag she wants to get. She's trying to decide. And it's awesome. It's on sale. She likes the black one because she thinks the black one won't get dirty, but the white one is much fancier. I say go for white. You always get black. Go for white. Just take good care of it. It's adorable. It's so cute. Okay, realistically, if I brought it out with me at school. If what? If I brought it out with me at school. Right. It would be fine. Right. Well, because you especially keep it on I, you. Yeah, exactly. I don't put it down, first of all. Second of all, especially if I had the second strap on. Yes. It's so close. You can protect it like a little baby. Put yeah, it right there. Just, just hold it, it like that. It's adorable. It's Perfect. really cute. Yeah. If you're going to get it, I say get the white. <gasps> My phone. <laughs> Look at that. It's already yours. Isn't that just so cute? It's adorable. I don't know. I might have to. I might have to. Princess is on the purchase this. Well, you did at Goodwill. You got a Kate Spade at Goodwill. Exciting news. Katie got the bag. Now we're smelling all kinds of perfumes. Oh, I like that. It's fresh. Is that Chloe? Yeah. All right. We smell a lot of perfumes in here. It's hard the for the problem is that I have yeah. a perfume that I love. Like I love it so much. It's like the perfect thing I've ever smelled in my life. But they don't make it they don't anymore. Make it anymore. It's Guerlain. So, Where's do you have any other Guerlain in here? No, we don't. No, you don't sell. It. Okay. And I've smelled all of them. Oh uh, right, exactly. But they might make a different line. I don't know. I know. I don't know. All right. Stay tuned to find out if Kate finds a smell she loves. <laughs> dun dun. <laughs> Hey. Ah, oh, shucks. It's okay. It's okay. So Katie, with her winnings, was able to enter a raffle for $500, and she didn't win. Well, it wasn't $500. It was $500 with this stuff. Oh, well, that's... That that's still a lot. Yes. All right, let's go to dinner. Okay. I want to put my bag on and also my perfume. Wait, do you have my phone? It's in here, is it not? Oh, it's in here. Wait, I want to put my bag on. Okay. Oh. Okay. Down to now we're headed to the dining room and this is what it looks like when we walk into the dining room. We have 8.30 dining, which is the late dining. And we love it that way. Look how pretty this dining room is. I'm gonna follow Katie. Oh, looks like the boys are already at our table. Here we go. Tonight's dinner, it is beef carpaccio. Do you like beef carpaccio, Big A? I love carpaccio, I love... Uh... Do you mind if I film you? Oh, prosciutto carpaccio. It's so good. Would you like, want some? We can sit down, sit down. We'll share it. All right, all right, all right. All right, you guys, we've asked each other a question um, at dinner that we would like to share with you, and you can share down below what you think yours is. This is the question. This is not about what you aspire to be. This is about what you think you currently potentially are, right? So if you could be right now the best at something in the you whole wide world. You competition, and you'd be the best blank in the world. What competition? Not what you want to be. This is not like, oh, I want to be the... The richest person in the world. No, is what you are currently. Like for example, I'll give you an example. I do believe that I potentially could be the best cheese digester in the world. It's not that I aspire to be that. I'm just a very, very good cheese digester. Brennan, how about you? I looked it up already. I looked up the longest uh, world record loogie. 
and I think potentially if I practice a little bit, I could have the longest spit of a loogie <laughs> in the world. Because he's a really good loogie spitter. I used to be proud of that. Yeah, I mean, it's it, gross. Right. It's gross. You do a little snot in your nose and your mouth. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. That dinner conversation. All right. but you're very good at it. That's Congratulations. My best. Yeah. No, that's your my talent. Best. That's your talent. How about you, Mike? I'm an extremely good room meeter. Room neatener, you, Michael. Yes, you are. You're a very good organizer, room neatener. Okay, Katie? Step one, grab all the things. Step two, throw them all away. <laughs> what do you think you potentially could be the best at? I think I'd eat the most chocolate croissants in one sitting out of anyone. That's really I good. I love chocolate croissants, and I have so much room in my belly for them. And you're really good at it. Okay, I just eat chocolate croissants. <laughs> Brian, what do you think you potentially right now, currently, in your current state of affairs, could be the best at in the whole wide world? I just had it. Oh, did you lose it? I totally lost it. <laughs> I was going to say card thrower. Oh, that's best really good. Forgetter. Best forgetter. <laughs> Brennan already did lose. We can come back to you. Oh. Even though I think it was better lose. <laughs> We'll no sense. We can we can put that on video. <laughs> Just don't watch the Luigi video while you're eating. Right. Okay. <laughs> I totally had it. Okay. All right, we'll come back to you. Come back to you. Okay, I got it. And my family can back this up. I'm the best movie quoter in the world. Oh yeah. And video quoter. Just yeah. quoter. Yeah. Down. Remembers everything off friend. Yes, Wait. he does. Yeah, you have a little someone again. Oh, thanks. Like, Thanks, I, I have a line from a movie or piece of media for every scenario. Yes. Every scenario. You're really, really good at that. And you can quote um, Mr. Peabody and Sherman the whole movie the from entire beginning thing. to end. That's, I, I also, I brought this up to the family. I think I've watched the movie DreamWorks movie, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, more times than anyone else in the entire world. That's probably I true. I truly think I have. Right. I think I'm up around probably the 200 stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm not good. I do believe I could quote all of Guardians of the Galaxy, Cars, and Tangled. Okay. Mike, what movie can you quote? I can quote every cool line in game. <laughs> okay. I got that going for me. Which is nice. Nice. Oh, thank you, nice. That was my first curse word movie that I saw. It's awesome. And you're allowed to say it because you're quoting it, so it's all good. Yeah, exactly. Mine is My Cousin Vinny. That's the one that I know the most quotes from is My Cousin Vinny. Oh, no, no. Actually, it's not a movie. It's a TV show. It's I Think You Should Leave. Me and my friends are the biggest I Think You Should Leave fans probably in the whole world. Oh, okay. We know every skit. We know every line. We can't pull. Woo!